Hey everybody, it's me, it's me, it's Michael B. <laughs> and so today, I'm going to be doing a live stream of the Legends Pinball. I got the Legends Control Deck. I had the lights turned up, but I'm going to turn them back on because this is, picture quality is no bueno, not as good as I had hoped, so just give me a second here. Also, while we're talking, yes, I did tune in to Unqualified Critics stream earlier, the Unico conversation, and uh, yeah, it was... Uh, Kind of surprising. I do feel bad. I do know for a fact Unico are working on new products. And I think that when they went into the interview originally, the intention was they were going to reveal something else. And uh, for whatever reason, they couldn't. So we got what we got. And I mean, the riser looks good. Uh, new buttons are a plus. But I understand uh, people, you know, weren't as excited as... <laughs> Whenever someone says new product reveal, you always expect so much. Like if at games announced a stream tomorrow and said new product reveal we're all expecting like a shooting cab or a driving cab no one's going to expect like a small peripheral that'll go with it right so i i get that anyways that's much better want to say hello to everybody in the chat thank you so much for joining me the reason we're here is at games sent me this arcade control panel which i have said for a long time I, i'm not a huge fan of playing things that in ways that they're not meant to be i mean a pinball machine is a pinball machine but I saw the arcade control panels coming out for this, and that huge vertical screen, it seemed like maybe it would feel like a cocktail table and a very, very cool way to play vertical shooters. So that's what I want to try today. I'm going to be doing a review sometime this week, but the way I always work this now is I like to do a live play video with everybody and kind of give my initial impressions and expectations of it. Also, uh, firmware update. Look at that. So the bit pixel information for these arcade games is now displayed on the back screen. That was a free upgrade that At Games did for the ALP this week that I think is pretty, pretty cool. I saw some people here in the chat I want to say hello to. Kamla, Adam12, uh, I saw Herb Wars, Dylan J, Kev Greth. Let me pull up my chat here. My buddy Mike Dalton's here as well. Mike, this is a, a good look at the At Games pinball machine for you to see what else it can do. Zero Hero. Tony C, Joe Zaving, Kev Gretz here. Oh, look what I have. <laughs> Attorney Arcade, how's everybody doing? Meatball Saucy, yeah, it is cool, right, brother? Anyway, so I, I just wanted to show you guys what this is like, and we're going to play ourselves some vertical shooters here today, which I'm very, very excited about. Yeah, you just want to play pinball on a pinball machine, but the way I looked at it was it's almost like a cocktail table done specifically for vertical games. So, GZB going live in the afternoon. I, I am going live in the afternoon. I also got to apologize for you uh, on that to you guys as well. I meant to do this live stream last night. We got home from dinner, and dinner was a disaster because we were out to dinner with my wife's family, and my daughter now has this fear of going to washrooms. So what happens is uh, we were out to dinner. She had to use the washroom. She refused to use the washroom at the restaurant, so we had to pack up everything and come home and let her use the washroom at home, ruined our dinner, <laughs> and then we had to eat our dinner cold, and by the time we uh, dealt with all that and we put her to bed, I, I fell asleep on the couch, so I didn't get to do the stream last night, so I'm shoehorning it in today, and I apologize, guys. This would have been a lot more fun last night when everybody was free. Afternoon stuff, uh, I know, it was always tough. Anyways, let me give you guys a look at what this actually looks like so i'm going to try to get on the screen as much as possible i really got to get a longer extension cord for my camera here but hopefully that's a good enough view let's play some 1941 counter attack i will tell you one thing i'm experiencing is sometimes when i turn on my machine my uh, control stick's not working initially and uh, that's weird i don't know what's happening there but as soon as i saw this announced i was like oh yeah this is what this is aching for vertical scrolling shooters baby look at this arcades are arcades and pinball's pinball but man oh man is this toy guys are familiar with like playing shmups i think this is called tape mode they all call it 
Ooh, I need that. That's a bomb. Ah! Yes, we're gonna put another quarter in. Back in the go here. It's boss time. Also, for anybody that was watching UC stream before, I know you might have been somewhat a little disappointed by Unico's announcement, but no one should be disappointed by Bill uh, by uh, UC's mustache, man. That thing, that's a show in itself. Oh yeah, my arm's gonna be sore after this. Are you dead? You're dead. Yeah, the vertical screen is fantastic. I'm very happy with playing schmucks on this. Now, I started with 1941 because it's one of my favorites, but I want to get your guys' feedback, and you tell me what you want to see. So throw a game in the chat, guys. Let me know what you want to see me play. I'm going to just put it on pause now. You guys let me know what you'd like to see played on the vertical screen. It could be a shmup. It could be kind of a shmup. I saw someone mention Gunsmoke earlier. That would be interesting to try. I'm... Terrible gun smoke. Meatball Saucy says gun smoke. I'll add that one to the list 100%. Pac Mania, more Pac Man. <laughs> Arrow Fighters. Is Arrow Fighters a vertical scroller? Vertical game? Is there a way to only put vertical games on CoinOp 6? Yeah, 100%. You just make your own USB. So what you do is uh, you compile your list of all your vertical games, uh, put that on a thumb drive, and then run it through the Add-on X tool. Pac-Man or Donkey Kong? Centipede? Oh, Centipede will 100% be played. Al, Millipede? Maybe if I play Centipede or Millipede? Commando, Alfred, you're trying to punish me, man. Try something using the trackball. Okay, let me play this for a second, and then I am going to play Centipede, because I love Centipede, and then I'll come back and play some of the other Meatball Saucy wanted me to play uh, Gunsmoke. So let me just get back into this for a second. I mean, with the vertical scrolling shooters, especially with the ones with... Uh, really nice graphics. It really shows off how good this screen is, right? Oh, man. Like, I'm surprised how much I like it. I understand what people are saying. Ah. Okay, we'll quit this one. Another glitch I've been having is, depending on how I quit game, sometimes it'll throw me into another game. And maybe it's something to do with my USB connection. Look, there it did. And it's just sending me into a random one, too, I think. No, I'm in the same one. Weird, right? So let's try this again. And like I mentioned, sometimes I turn the machine on and it just doesn't work. So I might need to reinstall this. Maybe that's the problem. All right, there we go. Okay, so Centipede was up. I don't think this is a normal thing. Maybe this is on my end. I've never heard of anybody else with these issues either, so. Centipede, here we go. You guys want to see Centipede? Let's do Centipede. I played Phoenix the other night, actually, Livewire Systems. It was the first time I ever played it, believe it or not, and I love it. Great game. MB, are you going to buy the new Dropping the Anchor t-shirt? Kamala, I, I, I don't understand. Where's my desk shit t-shirt? I thought we were making a desk shit t-shirt. I'm probably not going to buy the Dropping Anchor t-shirt. That sounds like the key press is still being registered. Yeah. it's a good point. Al, I can't play Frogger on this because I don't want to make my uh, Arcade 1-Up Frogger jealous. <laughs> Just look. What a giant centipede, right? All right. Oh, yeah. Trackball. 
Trackball works really well on this. Show you my paltry centipede skills here now, guys. But so far, I'm a big fan of uh, playing arcade games on the uh, ALP, which is a surprise to me. The other thing, too, I was going to show you some pinball at first, but I said, oh, no, that'll probably be confusing. But the exciters in this are actually much better than the exciters that come with the machine stock. This has improved exciters, which has made me like the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the uh, haptic feedback a lot better. I mean, I still prefer multiple solenoids, but... Ah! I knew that was coming. Like, this is a treat to play this on such a big screen. I mean, it's not arcade authentic, right? Because it's a giant screen, but it's still fun. At least it's the right orientation. Oh, my. Ah! Oh, wow, that sucked. <laughs> Every time Michael B. gets an Act Games product, it makes his one-ups more obsolete. <laughs> That's not true, brother. I, I, like, I have always... Re Retro Ralph posted this earlier this week, people talking about real arcades versus fake arcades and stuff like that. And to me, it's always the conversation of uh, Raspberry Pi versus uh, NES Classic, versus uh, original hardware. I mean, that's the conversation you're getting in. You could have a multicade, which will let you play all the games, or you could have something like a arcade one-up, which is like the NES Classic that has some of the games on it and looks like the original and has the original controls, or then you focus on the original. I mean, no matter way, what way anybody plays, it's all the same as long as it's, you know, keeping retro gaming alive. That's what I've always stuck by. Maybe I'm a bit too preachy on it. Who knows? But I like playing on multicades. The reason I said that about Frogger is, honestly, I, I don't really remember what Arcade Frogger's music's like. So I'm not letting that, the fact that the music's not right, bother me. I kind of don't want to see what it looks like when the screen doesn't have the horrible artifact feature on it, too. Man, that scan, that, I don't know why Arcade 1-Up used that uh, filter on the screen, screen filter. Like, it is just awful. Man, like, brutal. Anyways, this was a very nice surprise. I did not know Act Games was sending this. I got mystery tracking from DHL, and then this showed up. So thank you so much. You guys really didn't have to do that. I appreciate it so much. Uh, I'm going to be playing Gunsmoke after this. And you know what's funny? I did a uh, NES stream of Gunsmoke one night and played for like <laughs> over two hours and I was terrible. Like, I, I, like of course, I, I could get to the third level, I think it was. That's where uh, my skill ended. Hey, free man. At least I didn't suck totally here. I love Centipede. My problem is I shouldn't have played this so early because I could just stay playing this the whole time. I know Frogger music's a big part of its charm. I just enjoy the game and I... <laughs> oh, joking, kind of. What did Nostalgia say? Yeah, but the NES Classic was good quality, bruh. Oh, Nostalgia. <laughs> oh, you're a funny dude, man. <laughs> I love Nostalgia.
Yeah, this arcade control panel is the bee's knees, guys. I mean, just the options. I was excited for other people to get it for the options. Now that I have it, I'm excited because it has better exciters, so I'm, prefer I, I'm enjoying the haptic feedback more. And honestly, this is a really nice surprise. I knew shooters on this would be pretty cool, but I'm surprised about how much I enjoy playing shooters on this, on the big vertical screen. All right. Quick game. Did it again. Did I double press? Let's try this. So, stare it. So, I'm going to go down here. One input. Very quickly. See if it did it. And we're back in again. All right. So, we'll go stare. And we'll try the stare button for quick game. Yeah, I'm going to have to take it apart and I'm going to have to... Uh, plug in and plug out the uh, USB drive again to figure out what's going on. Like I said, sometimes when I start it up, the control panel doesn't work. Like I did an update earlier, and it worked before the update went through, but when the update went through after it finished, I couldn't scroll. <laughs> All right, so Gunsmoke. You got it. Gunsmoke's a good one to show you too, because I haven't played it on this yet. Now, assuming I have Gunsmoke on this, I think I do. Ooh, there it is. Gunsmoke Arcade Growl is a really cool arcade game, too. It comes standard on the uh, Legends Ultimate if you've never played it before. Good beat-em-up. I know not everybody loves beat-em-ups, but I like beat-em-ups. They just help me relax. All right, let's check out Gunsmoke Arcade. So when you go in originally, it'll be in this format, and it'll just show you like this. So that's what it looks like. It's got the bezel around the outside. Then you'll go into your settings. Then you get display mode for fit, which will just make it fit to the side, and then fill. Now the aspect ratio is a little tiny bit off because, I mean, this doesn't match the original aspect ratio, I assume. <laughs> but it still looks really, really good. All right. Look at that. It's human and gross here today. Thanks for stopping by, Ristelja, buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, don't notice any lag with coin offs in the controller. Not yet. The only thing I've noticed with the controller is sometimes there's a double input when I'm getting at quitting games, and sometimes when the system comes on, my control stick doesn't work for some reason, but I gotta talk to that game support and see if I can figure out maybe it's just something I did during the installation. Alright, let's rock and roll. Ah! Terrible night. I'm not good at gun smoke at all. Ah! Dumb! We'll try that again so I don't look so terrible. This game is really hard. You have a big fun surprise for me on the next Super Game Room, dudes. Better than what one, uh, Unico announced. We'll see. Alright. Let's try this again. See if I do any better this time. Gunsmoke is hard. But it looks... Everything looks so good on this giant vertical screen. It is kind of crazy. Joe Keith. Ah! 
Mike, what are you doing, Mike? <laughs> yeah, and you guys want me to play Commando? What are you crazy? Ah! Terrible. One more try. Hey, Merrick Whitman, what's happening, brother? Uh, I don't rage quit on these, but I'll tell you right now, I'm... this is truly a test of skill and patience. You just gotta get good, there's a lot of memorization involved. Ah! I got stuck on the stairs. See what I mean? Memorization, right? You just get used to it, what you're doing. Like, I'm not good, I just memorized and getting lucky. I'm on my horse! Now you're in trouble. All in trouble. And horsepower. Oh, my arms are already burning, buddy. How? Pow, 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 pow. Pow, pow, pow. Come on, buddy. You're toast. You know you are. You're going to finish this first level for these guys. Ah, there it is. I tried. I tried, guys. That's as much as I got in me. We don't gun smoke. Ooh, heard her. <laughs> All right, we'll see if this one lets us quit normally. Looking good. Whew. All right, WKRP in Cincinnati, we'll see you later, brother. All right, so that's Gunsmoke. Radius. Uh, I mean, I can't not do this one, guys. Just can't not. Oh, man. <laughs> My arm is going to be sore. Like, that's the thing about shmups. Like, there's shmups when you can play where you just press down the button and there's a turbo function. And then there's, oh, my God, that hurts. I mean, you knew. You knew I was guns to play Galaga, right? I was guns to play Galia. Right. You should help with my arm. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, this is all going hell. Oh, <laughs> 
That's right. Take me. Beam me up, baby. We'll get that second ship and go rank. Now I just can't play bad for a minute. Ah! What were you doing, man? <laughs> well, hopefully the next level is kind of good. There we go. Now come get me, buddy. Beam me up. It's my last chance before challenging stage. Come on. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Come on. You know you want to beam me up. I know you're not going to, but... Ah, uh, the hell with you. That was terrible. Ah, terrible. Nice. When dry air ain't gonna be here, guy. time it's gonna happen. You and the captain can make it happen. Let's do it. We got our double ships. We're gonna get some points. Get some points up on the board. Ha! Now you're in trouble. Stay away from Oprah! trouble. Now you're done. Now you're done, son. Ah, no, no, no! Ah! The hell with it. It's enough Galaga. <laughs> We're done with Gallagher. We're done. I get too mad when I lose my double ships. Quick game. Not for you. All right, guys. What else do you want to see? I had a uh, vote for Millipede earlier. Anything else? Don't kill the bottom left bees. Can't go wrong with Galaga. I know, man. Dragon Spirit. Yes. 
Good call, Kev Brett. Oh, this went back in. Okay, we're going to quit this again. This time it's going to work. That's annoying. And then we go back in. Or did we not? Went into a completely different game. That sounds about right. There's got to be something I did. All right. Let's go. What am I going into? Dragon Spirit. Yeah, played Dragon Spirit the other night. This one of the Dragon Spirit was one of the first games I played, actually. Good call. This happens on the ALU also, Meatball Saucy? I have an experience on the ALU. Yeah, I'm very impressed with playing the vertical games on the Legends of Pinball. This control panel has been a major, major boon. Uh, like, some of the things people were worried about is it would look funny on a pinball table. You can't argue with that more. I mean, it looks very natural. I mean, this panel was just there anyways. It said Legends Pinball. That it doesn't affect... This doesn't affect me in any way. And, like, just look how cool it is to play vertical arcade shooters on this, man. It's giant. Amazing music. Ah, it's my own fault. Wow! Let's just not pay attention to anything that's going on at all. Yeah. I'm also playing on a weird angle here, too. Yeah, there we go. Shits. Alright, let's try that again. I gotta do better than that. Yeah, there you go. I'm aware, game over. This is a game, a shooter, a lot like uh, riding, where there's shit on the ground too, so you got a bomb function. And now we got our two headed dragon, so let's try to have some fun, fun, fun. And then when you get hit once, you lose your two headed dragon. Alright. Anyway, Dragon Spirit's really good. I'm sucking right now, so I don't want to talk about it. Then I miss the power-ups, because I'm dumb. And there it goes. Hard game. <laughs> Tough game.
There we go. Maybe he should just leave it in demo mode. Oh, Kev Griss. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, that is one thing I agree with. Um, the ALU Mini, I wish it had a trackball. Especially, I mean, it's a Legends Vertical. Uh, we assume it's going to have Centipede and Millipede on it. Why not have the trackball? Even if it has Tempest, I mean, it's not a spinner, but maybe they will come up with something else you so say you want me to see me play donkey kong now so we're really gonna punish me <laughs> okay meatballs the boss i hate this what what's it going into now like i really wish this didn't happen i gotta figure that out And, like, it's so sporadic, too. Like, and then it'll just go into a random game, too, which I don't get. This, there you go. All right. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong, he says. Let's do it. Yeah, all the easy games. All right, let's see what I can do here. That's a good start. That's a good start. I've watched King of Kong. I know it's what to be doing. There you go. His favorite game, one of mine too, but I'm not very good at it. instead of going down one more try
You also got to remember, guys, this is a four-way game, not an eight-way game. So it's a little bit harder to play it here. Come on down, friend. I'll show you a thing. At least I took him down. That's all that matters. Not exactly the best run in the world. tried. DK has a lot of strategy. It does. It's not an easy game. I said this so many times. People are like, oh man, I wish Arcade went up and make a Donkey Kong. Get ready for pain. <laughs> yeah. Number one. I'm number one. Number one. <laughs> uh, all right. All right, what's next, guys? Whatever the machine decides to put me into. Man, oh man. I don't want to play this. Just work. Why are you doing this? All right, well, let's go this way. Mm -hmm. Any suggestions, guys? Anything you want to see? Uh, no, actually, I've never played, uh... honestly, uh, Meatball, I've done both. <laughs> I've done both, and it still happens. Uh, Dio, 1940, I've been into 1941 a bit. Why are people saying John got Marvel versus Capcom? Uh, I don't know, I, I thought John was doing some kind of stream, was it today? Oh, there's the one I wanted to play. If you guys don't know, Truxton may be one of the greatest arcade games of all time. And also, if you're a Sega Genesis fan, Truxton may be one of the greatest games of all time. Hey, Devil Waldo, I'm sorry about that, man. I know that they got, uh, some people reached out to Kev Grick got his email just a couple days ago. Uh, they're trying their best to get the, uh, support out there for it. Oh, Truxton, baby. Now, Mike Dalton, 1944 is an awesome game, but it's a horizontal game, brother. Truxton does rule. I suck at Truxton, too. So don't expect too much. Just want to show you how cool it looks. Like I'm a I'm a huge um, I'm terrible at shmups, but I love them. And Truxton's one of my favorites. So I'm excited to play this here in front of you guys today and suggest everybody go get acquainted with Truxton. Get ready for this music. Yeah. 
Wasted it and got killed. Ah, it was too old. Ah. You know what? I'm not as big a spy hunter fan as others are. <laughs> well, I certainly look like a dummy now. I will not take that 13-720 score. We're going to do this again, baby. I gotta get in, drop the bomb, and get out. Man, Mike, come on. Ah, there we go. Also different powers. I haven't, haven't come across any of them for whatever reason so far. Oh, there we go. Or maybe I don't know. That's the bomb. There we go. Ah! And as soon as I get the other power, <laughs> ah, funny guy, funny guy. It's got a similar power system to uh, Blazing Lasers, right? With different color-coded options. Ah, now, there we go. And let's go get powered up. And then this one there will do a uh, lightning bolt, but I don't want that. I'll keep this way dealy here. I'm gonna live forever! Truxton! My arm hurts so much right now. Hey, Shani the Great Gamer, what's happening, brother? Tubin for sure. You want to see Tubin? I'll take second.
What time is Jung's stream today anyways, guys? I gotta make sure not to miss that. All right, this is for you, Meatball Saucy. I'm using the A button. Told you, it doesn't make a difference. And it might be on me. It might just be uh, my USB drive I've got in. Who knows? Weird. Vertical Schmups time. But of course, Kanzai Rush, you tune in for Vertical Schmups right around the time everybody wants me to uh, play Tubin. <laughs> Alright, see if we can get out of it this time. We're out. Alright, let's go find Tubin for everybody. Truxton's incredible. Alright, here's Tubin for everybody. Kanzaras, thank you, by the way. I finally installed my uh, Vibs board today. Uh, me and my brother installed it after watching your installation video with you and Miss Kanz. So my Vibs board is installed. Now I just need to learn how uh, to uh, get pinball to work on my PC. I'm going to try to, because I've got my main PC here, uh, so I'm going to get some really long HDMI and USB cables, and I'm going to try right now to uh, basically... Have it plug and play with my PC here when I want to play something on my Legends Pinball until I save up some cash and get another PC to just primarily to be used for pinball on the Legends Ultimate. Legends Pinball. So let's change the display mode to fill. Get out of here. And we're going to play some giant ass tubing. Two credits to start game. Oh, you're an expensive one, too. There we go. This is great. I mean, you gotta learn the controls. The controls aren't where you expect them to be. Yeah, I'm digging this. Done, son. Ah, I didn't want to go this way. Son, I'm a tube and wizard. Ah, no, no, no. Ah, uh, this is all gone to hell. Oh, your toes, buddy. Tubin! Ah. There it is. <laughs> Anyways, Tubin is a blast. I love, love Tubin. I, I do too. 
Uh, I've been enjoying it on the uh, Mortal Kombat Midway Legacy Edition cab. Uh, you know, you'd love to see it with the riser. Got another question for you guys that have done the uh, pinball upgrade and had the control deck. I, I got 1941 to show up on the back class, but none of the other games have showed up. So I'm going to go back and try 1941 again. See if, uh, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Quick game, and you're going to work this time. I got a feeling I'm going to have to... Do a simple unplug and replug of this, man. And someone had asked for me to do a 1941 again, so I'll go back and do that one more time. And see if... Nineteen forty-three caught. Well, anyways, nineteen forty-one counterattack. Yeah, see, it comes up. Weird. What's happening, Bobby Boo? Oh, it's not Bobby Boo. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Danny boy, hi. I was too far away from the uh, screen there, brother. Nineteen XX is your favorite in the series, eh? All right. So that's back up, but this is the only one I could get to play. Maybe I should watch their videos about how it works, because maybe it's not automatic with the game that you put in. Maybe it's something to do with what you have on the screen, too. All right. 41 again. Let's rock and roll. I took a little abuse there. <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go. I got turbo power. Whatever the hell is going on here. Anyway. It's games like this that make you realize how cool this is, right? Big, big schmucks.
Ah, there we go. All right, so let's quit this one. We'll see what it'll throw us into. Hey, just let us out. Crazy. Do, you know, do I have 19XX? Someone requested that. So let's go try that out. 19XX. And as you can see again, it's only 1941 that comes up. So I got to figure out what's going on there. All right, so we'll go in. We are going to change the display mode to fill out. Let's play. Yeah, we'll play with lightning. I've never played this game before, guys, so do not judge me. That's a cool start so far. I like that. shooters a lot yeah I like them when they got great powers like this too I'll tell you that Well, that's cool. Thank you so much for suggesting this, whoever did, because this has just become a big new favorite of mine, man. Uh, we're gonna have Happy Donalds. You wanna come in and say hello to everybody? I'm coming. Come here. I, I tell you a secret. All right. Say hello to everybody on the camera. Hi. Say hi. Hi. Tell them Dad's gotta go get you Happy Donalds. Dad's time to get me Happy Donald, and I'm making a leprechaun trap. She's making a leprechaun trap. All right, guys. Hey, anyways, yeah. thank you so much for joining me. Scarlet, say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye. All right, guys, I got to go get my daughter Happy Donalds. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy E3. I'm sure I'll see you a lot more over the course of the next couple of days, guys. Mm -hmm.